For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the new Cloak Star Ninja. I was able to get him from one of the Blockbuster Part 3 quests. Once you complete this Fallen Star quest, you'll be given the Cloak Star Ninja. And I have gone over his perks before, but since we're getting gameplay with them, we'll go ahead and run through them again really quick. His three main abilities are Throwing Stars, Crescent Kick, and Smoke Bomb. He also has Shinobi, as well as Man Asleep, and Cascade, which is gonna make you throw an additional Throwing Star. He also has Train Throw, which is going to reduce the energy cost of throwing stars. He also has Shadow Stance, which is going to increase your damage resistance and reduce the energy cost of Mana Sleep for 4 seconds. He also has Rapid Fire, which is going to reduce the cooldown of throwing stars by 3 seconds. He also has Reign of Death, which is going to give you another throwing star. Let's see, he also has 7 points, which is going to make your ninja throw 2 additional throwing stars. And he also has Fan of Stars, which is going to make you throw 2 more throwing stars. And they're all going to be thrown at the same time in a spreading arc. And at the bottom it says Masterful Shinobi, who unleashes waves of throwing stars from the shadows. As for his support squad bonus, he has Caffeine High. And for his tactical squad bonus, he has Fan of Stars. And I do plan on trying that Fan of Stars tactical squad bonus with the Shuriken Master Ninja. Let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing some gameplay of that. But yeah, as you can tell, he already comes with the hood, as well as that little gauntlet on his left arm. But we're going to go ahead and evolve him and see if we get anything else. Alright, well we didn't get anything new when we evolved him the first three times. Let's see if we get anything new on the fourth one. Nope. So you don't get any extra backpacks or anything special when you evolve this hero. Now the loadout we're going to use is the Shuriken Master in our support slot to increase our ability damage, help our throwing stars do some more damage. And in our tactical slot we have an Urban Assault which is going to help our throwing stars deal extra headshot damage. And one thing I want to point out is that it looks like his health is really low. As you can tell when we equip a different ninja that has a lower power level, this ninja still has a higher health than the Cloaked Star Ninja. So yeah, that was one thing I wanted to point out. It looks like his health is really low. Anyways, the mission we're going to do is this level 100 evacuate the shelter. And we're going to be doing this one so low. Alright, so you can't remove his hoodie from the launch screen. And there's no backpack to remove either. I would also recommend that you use Adrenaline Rush because again, he doesn't have that much health. I believe as soon as we spawn in, we're going to have to run to the shelter and defend it. Uh, if there's any voice dialogue, I'll be sure to shut up so you all can hear it. Stand by for an important weather alert. Here we go. A survivor shelter is under attack. Check your map for the location of the shelter. Find the shelter before the husks do too much damage. I just go ahead and throw up a turret. Help us out a little. Ray. Come in, Ray. Cloaks! My name is the Cloaks. Force taken on half. And my policy is no one gets to add a the to their name. I figured we'd never hear from you again. You figured right. But I got to thinking I could visit my vengeance to the heart of the storm. Kill a thousand husks before I'm swallowed alive. Or I take you up on your offer and live to kill millions, billions of husks. You're making the right choice. Your motivation is disturbing, but I get it. I owe you an apology and a thank you. So I made you something. So as you can tell from his throwing stars, uh, he throws all of them at once and they spread out in an arc. And I believe he throws a total of nine. Let's look. I believe that's a total of nine. And as you see, the cooldown is three seconds. And the cooldown for his crescent kick is 10 seconds. And as you can see, it can also stun Husk as well as Miss Monsters. And the cooldown for his smoke bomb is one minute. Another thing I should point out with his smoke bomb is that it does slow Husk. So if you have a weapon that does extra damage to slow targets, then you're going to want to use it after you use your smoke bomb. So with that being said, he's definitely an abilities ninja. And you're going to want to try to use your abilities as no often as do. possible. Sorry. No. Nope. Good triumphs. No can do. So you can actually hear his voice right there. Here they come. All right. Well, here they come, the people. Safe. Here we go. Protect the shelter until the survivors can be safely extracted. I think we have fire enemies, so we need to make a water weapon. 
Oh, and it looks like a lot of them are spawning from over here. I was not expecting them to spawn over here. So let's go ahead and add some traps over here as well. Uh, let's add some wall launchers to help us out. I was not expecting them to go that way. Let's go ahead and use our smoke bomb to slow them down. There we go. And we'll use... Uh-oh. Is he... up? Oh, he's charging. Alright, we got him. Uh, let's go ahead and run back over here. I'm going to place down some floor traps as well. Help us out. Because I'm not going to be able to stay over here the whole time. And we have another smasher. Oh my goodness. There we go. So it doesn't really matter what weapons you use. Because he doesn't have any perks that specialize in any particular weapon. Let's go use our second turret. I think one of our defenders is down. We are using a couple of defenders. A melee defender and a sniper defender. Let's go ahead and close this back up. Looks like we have a lot over here. So let's go ahead and help out our defenders. And we are missing a wall launcher right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and take out this chrome husk. Uh, where'd he go? Let's try to take him out first. Uh, I'm not sure why we didn't kill him. We're using a water weapon. Or at least it's supposed to be water. Uh, where's this defender at? She's starting to get on my nerves. Go ahead and pick her up real quick. Uh, we got another smash on this side. Let's repair this wall. All right, everything's looking good. Uh, I do want to try to spam my abilities as much as possible. So I'm just going to start using my throwing stars as soon as they reset. Uh, they really don't do a whole lot of damage, though. We're going to have to try to go for headshots so we do more damage. And let's go ahead and use our crescent kick on him. I like using the crescent kick on Miss Monsters because it stuns them a lot. Oh, we got a bunch up here. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. And we're also going to have to try to keep an eye out for mini bosses. I believe this one has mini bosses. Let's go ahead and switch over to our water gun. And we're going to have to look out on the other side too. I haven't been over there in a while. Let's go ahead and run to the other side. I'm down. Our defender's down again. But yeah, I feel like this class would probably be a lot more fun to use if you're playing with other people. Uh, playing solo, you don't really have a whole lot of health. You got to try to play it safe, I feel like. Let's go ahead and replace these traps. Sorry. No. I'm not sure how they're spawning back here. I did not know they were going to be spawning back here. All right, let's go ahead and throw up another turret right here to help us out. Yes. There we go. Firepower. No. I think one of our defenders is gone. We lost our sniper defender. Grandpa's gone. Try that again. He went into retirement. Uh, everything's holding up pretty nice good work. so far. So yeah, I'm not sure if he's necessarily better than the Shuriken Master. Uh-oh. Let me get rid of this Chrome Husk, man. Before the mini boss comes. Wait, is there a mini boss on this one? I forgot to check and see. Let's try to take this guy out. Uh-oh. We have to be careful. I forgot I don't have that much health. Okay, Chrome Husk is down. Uh-oh. Probably on the other side. Let's go to the other side. Yep. Oh, no. So, let's see if we can close this off. That would be awesome if we could. Maybe force them to go the other direction. 
Oh, let's get rid of this propane. There we go. Nope. So everything's holding up pretty good. Oh, mini boss is here. All right, here we go. Let's check out the perk. Oh, it's a smasher too. Fire. Yeah, we're gonna need water. Let's go ahead and use this water hacksaw. Oh man, he still has a, a lot of health left. We're gonna need a turret. No, no he's gonna destroy my walls. Don't charge the walls, please. Uh, let's use our smoke bomb to slow him down. And let's see if our crescent kick can stun him. Nope, it didn't stun him. All right, we're just gonna have to take him out with our hacksaw. Oh man, it's oh man, he destroyed so many walls, and we can't replace them. Oh wait, it's only one second left. Why did he spawn in so late? Oh man, we didn't have any time to kill him. So yeah, that'll do it for our first The Cloak Star Ninja gameplay. Obviously, he's an abilities ninja, but I wouldn't necessarily consider him the best. I think I prefer the corrosive stars and the piercing stars that the Shuriken Master Ninja has. I also don't like how he doesn't have that much health. But I do feel like his tactical squad bonus could be really good, especially with the Shuriken Master. Also, we will be doing a walkthrough of all of the new quests later today, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways, I hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.